Hi, I'm Tracy Chevalier, author of The Last Runaway. It's a novel in which the heroine is a quilter. And in order to write about quilting accurately, I decided to learn to quilt myself. And that's saying something because uh, I only ever had sewn a button on a shirt before. But if I can learn to quilt, so can you. Here are my top five tips for the beginning quilter. Tip number one, build a stash. A stash is what quilters call all of the fabrics that they collect that they're gonna to use to make quilts with. They're usually in cotton because that's about the right thickness for quilting. And they can be all kinds of different colors and varieties. Um, you can buy what's called fat quarters, which are a quarter of a yard of fabric um, from quilt shops, from quilt conventions, quilt shows, but you can also just use your old clothes and cut them up. Or you can go to the charity shop or thrift shop and buy old clothes for very cheap that uh, you can cut up and use for your quilts. So build a stash. Tip number two, join a group or a class. It's really hard to get motivated quilting on your own. But if you join a class or a group, you get to do it every week or every month, and that keeps you going. You need to keep always pushing your projects forward. Also, classes and groups can give you a lot of advice and opinions, because uh, cultures have a lot of opinions about what you're doing. It can be really uh, helpful and a lot of fun. So join a group. My third tip is to start small. You don't want to go right into making a huge quilt because it takes a long time and you can get a bit frustrated and bored. Start small. When I started, um, I made a pin cushion and then I made another pin cushion that I actually used. So and these only took me a couple of hours. Um, after that, I graduated on to making a cushion cover. This is in the log cabin pattern. Um, and you can go on, you can make baby quilts. In fact, baby quilts are great because there's always somebody having a baby. And uh, if you're making a big quilt, sometimes if you need a break, you can stop, make a quick baby quilt, and then get back to the bigger project. But be sure to start small. Tip number four is to vary your fabrics. When I made this quilt, it was the first big quilt I made. I made a lot of mistakes in this, because you always do, that's how you learn. And one of the mistakes I made was that I put these two fabrics together when I shouldn't have. Now they're different colors, but they're exactly the same pattern and the same size of pattern. And they get a little flat and a little bland together. What's much more successful is if you use something like these two together, where you have small pattern and large pattern. There's kind of a contrast that makes them vibrate more and it gives the whole quilt a lot more life. So feel free to vary what you're putting together. You can put together things as crazy as skulls and, and flowers. It works. You'd be surprised at what you can make with a quilt. It's very forgiving, so make sure you vary your fabrics. For my fifth and final tip for beginning quilters, I've brought you upstairs to the Things We Do in Bed exhibition at Danson House. We're standing in front of a quilt from the 19th century called the Darts of Death. It's a widow's quilt. A woman would have made it when she was in mourning for her husband. And unusually, it's in black and white. You don't see that in quilts very often. My fifth tip is to copy from others. People do it all the time when they learn to paint. I've had many people send me copies of Girl the Pearl Earring that they've done when they've learned to paint. And you can do the same thing with a quilt. You can take something beautiful and amazing like this and unusual and change it completely simply by changing the fabric. So you could copy this quilt, but say, use this fabric instead of the black, or this fabric, or what would it look like with this? That would completely change the look and it would become your own quilt. So my fifth tip is to copy from other people. To summarize, my top five tips are, number one, build a stash. Number two, join a group or a class. Number three, start small. Number four, vary your fabrics. And number five, copy shamelessly from other people. Thank you. Good luck.